Hello. Good evening, guys. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Christian. How are you? I'm fine. That's great. It is yes. Monday. Yes. The beginning of the week. Uh, okay, so we are just going back to work today. Oh, but it's been good. Christmas is coming. We have a good season. The weather is good. So I'm glad to hear you're okay. How is everyone? Thank you so much for being on time. Christian, Nestor, Sergio, and Denise. Thank you so much for being on time, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Nestor. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm just a little tired, but it is Monday, so that is normal. Let's just give a couple of minutes for everyone to join. How are you guys? Pudieron hacer su midterm test? Oh, not yet. No, teacher. No yet. No problem. Okay, let's try to do it um, as soon as we can. En cuanto, en cuanto podamos, let's try to do it para poder comenzar a avanzar con um, la section 4, which we are going to start working on today. La vamos a comenzar a trabajar hoy. La section 4. Remember, guys, que ya tenemos que terminar la platform el 17 de este mes. So, December 17th, we have 10 days left. So, let's get working on the platform, guys. But that's okay. Vamos muy bien. I hope that everyone is already working on at least section three, que ya estemos al menos en la section three, ya para ya casi trabajar en el midterm test. Y aquellos que ya hayan empezado, oye, perdón, que ya hayan hecho el midterm test, perfect. Para que podamos comenzar con nuestra section four, which is all about the past tense. Past tense, pronunciations, yes, no questions, activities, all about the past. Les mandé during the weekend un material a WhatsApp about the pronunciation of the past in English. ¿Pudieron ver este material? In WhatsApp. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, Ale, how are you? Hello. Hi, and you? I'm good, thank you for asking. I was just asking um, if you could see the material that I sent over WhatsApp, el material que mandé a WhatsApp de los pronunciations of the past. Yes. Perfect, love that. Excellent. We are going to be reviewing that part today. Después de que veamos un poco about the past and how the past works in English. Vamos a verlo en dos partes. The past using regular verbs and the past using irregular verbs. Que ya vimos que los irregular verbs son esos que no solo se les agrega ed, sino que tienen una palabra diferente, right? To, um, to use the past tense of that verb. So thank you so much for joining, guys. How was your weekend? Very good. Awesome. Love to hear that. Thank Relax. you for sharing. <laughs> Relax? Yes. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's good. Yeah, we need to relax. Right, we need to rest. De estar trabajando. Perfect. All right, guys. So it is eight with zero four, almost five minutes. Let's just give one more minute to see if more people more people can join the class. 
Recuerden que esta semana sí ya tenemos nuestras clases normales ya de lunes a jueves. Esta semana sí ya no vamos a tener class on Friday. So you are free to go on Friday. Yay. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. I see that Madeline just joined, Catherine just joined, Rocío joined. Perfect. Awesome. So we are 12 people right now. And we are going to begin today's class by reading a conversation and looking at the past used in that conversation. Y viendo el pasado, cómo se usa en esa conversación, right? So let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys. Estamos 12 people, 12 personas. I see Katherine, Nestor, Denis, Sergio, Cristian, both Christians, Cristian Molina and Cristian Castro. Priscilla, Rocío, Ale, Veronica, and Marlin. Thank you so much for joining, guys. All right. I know it is Monday and that we are tired. It's the beginning of the week, but let's go ahead and do the best we can. This hour is going to go very fast. Ya no, se va a pasar bien rápido this hour. So, can you see my screen? Hello, can yes. you see my screen? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Thank you. All right, perfect, thank you. All right, guys, so we are going to start today's class by reading a conversation. Vamos a comenzar por leer this conversation, right? So can I please have, let's see. Can I please have Briselda, be Jennifer, and Sergio, be Michael? Okay. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Hello, Briselda. Mm, quiero ver, me están escribiendo. <laughs> Hello. No. Oh, okay. Jay, we can hear you. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Perdón, pensé que no se escuchaba. Okay. Um, el, el, la parte de Jennifer, ¿verdad? Yes. Well, I had a busy weekend. I and I feel a little tired today. Busy is busy weekend, ¿verdad? Yes, busy. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I clean it, did laundry and shop it, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much. All right. So, what can we see here? Podemos ver the verbs and the different usage of the past. Dos diferentes usos del pasado, right? This one. The past using did. Did you have a good weekend? Sabemos que como ya está conjugado did, entonces have va en infinitivo, right? Va en presente. So, did you have a good weekend? Pero siempre está en pasado. Y la otra forma de usarlo. Well, I had a busy weekend. A busy weekend. I had, que es el pasado de have. Right? We see it again here. I exercised in the morning. And then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. Then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? 
el uso del pasado con did. I studied for the test all day. Right? I didn't study. I just watched television all day. Now, guys. ¿Qué podemos ver? ¿Qué les llama la atención de este reading? About the past or anything. Or any words that you don't know, etc. ¿O qué podemos ver sobre el usage of the past? En algunos es ED, en otros no. Uh -huh, correct. Algunos son regulares, que solo añadimos ED. And some are irregular, que son diferentes. For example, had. Excellent. Y también podemos ver, guys, que el negativo lo podemos usar con did. Y también lo podemos usar con su verbo en pasado. Siempre en negativo. Hadn't. Hadn't. Etcétera, etcétera. Ese es uno que sí se puede. Hay otros verbos que no tienen pues un negativo, right? For example, study. I didn't study, right? Entonces con la mayoría de los verbos, para decir que no lo hicimos en el pasado, Vamos a usar didn't. I didn't study. I didn't shower. I didn't clean. I didn't, um, let's see, I didn't do my homework, etc. Right? Pero vamos desde el beginning, right? Let's go ahead and see how the past works. Veamos cómo funciona el past. Here we have the simple past with regular verbs. Con re verbos regulares. Re regular verbs are those verbs that we just add ed or ied. For example, en este, study, exercised. Esos son algunos de los ejemplos. Now, guys, ¿por qué en stayed solo se agrega ed y por qué en study se agrega ied? Son algunos de los misterios del idioma. So, I wish I had... Ambos terminan en Y. With vowels? Mm, no, it, there's really not... Um... Pero antes de la Y, uh, uh -huh. uno tiene vocal y uno tiene consonante. Sí, pero ustedes van a ver que mm, no se sigue esa regla. Hay muchos verbos así que no siguen... Um, este es este, este, esto así que solo porque vaya a buscar consonante y termine en y y algunos no cumplen esa regla entonces yo lo que mejor les recomiendo es que no hay una manera específica como de uno decir ah este es el truco y esta es la manera en la que se va a hacer siempre because that's not the case por eso quisiera como poder darles como una lista como here it is los que son así los que no pero solo con eh, la práctica y con la lectura y con el aprendizaje uno va viendo todos esos verbos, right? Esa podría ser una opción, pero hay otros verbos pues en que no se cumple esa situación, right? Que, que terminen en Y. Por ejemplo, uno que sí cumple esta regla de las vocales y las consonantes es fry, right? Que sería fried. Cry, cumple esa regla también, cried. Y hay otros verbos que no la cumplen. Entonces, podríamos ocuparlo, pero tengan en cuenta que no siempre va a ser así, right? Now, guys, 
El simple past es súper, 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 súper sencillo. All you need to do is review the verbs. Sabemos que la mayoría de estos verbos, como estos verbos son regulares, lo único que vamos a hacer es decir lo mismo que en el simple present, pero con el verbo en pasado. Entonces, si I study on Sunday, yo estudio el sábado y yo quiero decir que yo lo estudié, I studied on Sunday. On, el domingo, perdón. On Sunday. You watch television. Tú ves televisión. You watched television. Tú viste televisión. Veamos otro ejemplo. Can I please have... Uh, 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 Danny, read this one. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Danny. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Can you please read this sentence for us? Puede leer esta, esta oración for us? She studied. Home. Home. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. And can I please have Novia read the next one? Then they say we? We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. Thank you. And can I please have Christian Molina read this one? They exercise on Saturday. Thank you very much, Christian. And can I please have Ale read this one? I didn't study on Saturday. Thank you, Ale. And can I please have Jennifer read this one? You didn't watch a movie. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. So, ¿qué es lo que veíamos? Con los regular verbs, vamos a decir siempre, y esto también sucede con los irregular también, pero vamos a dar la regla para decir el negativo en el pasado, vamos a usar didn't, right? Igual que en el presente, I don't like, I don't run, I don't study, I didn't study. I didn't watch. I didn't stay. Usamos el pasado de do, que es did, que es um, did, y para como es el negativo, es didn't, que ya está el negativo, y el verbo en infinitivo. Right? El pasado es súper, súper simple. Solo vamos a hacer el sujeto. Plus the verb in the past. Plus the complement. Alguien me está diciendo algo aquí en el chat. Se escucha interferencia en el audio. ¿Alguien más escucha ruido en el audio? ¿No se escucha bien? No. Bueno, yo escucho bien. Anyone else? Si no puede ser su audio, su, en sus entradas de audio, si no, los demás no lo escuchan. Puede ser de los demás, Podrían, podría salir de la llamada y volver a entrar, tal vez podría solucionarse así. Y esto lo vamos a usar para... Oops. Positive. Positive statement. Y vamos a usar el subject. But didn't. Plus verb in infinitive plus complement for negative. Right? It's super, super, super simple. Now, guys, lo que es tricky del past, lo que tiene modo es que tenemos tres pronunciations diferentes del ED. For example, I 
Veamos aquí. I studied. I watched. I stayed. I shopped. I exercised. Right? Tenemos three different pronunciations of the ed ending. So, el mismo ed ending puede sonar como te, puede sonar como ed o id, y puede sonar solo como de, right? Studied, studied, studied. Es un ejemplo de id, de ed. Watched, watched, es un ejemplo de una terminación en T. Y, let's see, shopped, también es un ejemplo de una terminación en T. Shopped, shopped. Stayed, stayed, es un ejemplo de una terminación en ED. Exercised, exercised, es otro ejemplo de una oración con ED. Now, Ale. Yes. Pero ¿y cómo saber cuándo es con T o no N o T? No. <laughs> Practice. No way to know. Practice. Yes, ahí sí. <laughs> Digamos que con lo de la Y tenemos ese pequeño trick, right? Que funciona con algunos de los verbos, no todos. Ojo que les aviso desde ya que si lleva vocal o que si lleva consonante, right? Para I, E, D o solo E, D. Pero para la pronunciación sí es Pura, 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 pura practice. Por eso les mandé during the weekend. Algunos de ustedes lo habrán podido ver en WhatsApp. Eh, que les mandé un chart, un cuadro que tenía la pronunciación con T sound, con ED sound, and con D sound. But let's review it once again. Okay? Here we have, no, not this one. Here we have it once again. We have the T sound. Mm. Can you mm -hmm. see the screen? Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. So let's see if I can zoom it a little bit. Vamos, si lo puedo hacer un poquito más grande. Ahí estamos. Perfect. All right, that's bigger, right? Así se ve un poquito más. Yes. Perfect. All right. So these are all words que podemos ver la su pronunciation con ed at the end, but with a t sound. This is the t sound. Next, we have the words with a d sound. And finally, we have the words with the ID sound. Ahora, claramente estos solo son algunos ejemplos, right? Verbos hay cientos y cientos y cientos de verbos. But these are some examples. So, todos estos verbos tienen una finalización de T. Asked, baked, brushed, cooked. Cracked, crashed, danced, dressed, dropped, escaped. We also have the pronunciation with D. Agreed, allowed, answered, appeared, arrived, believed, burned, called, carried, changed, Cleaned, closed. And we have the pronunciation with the ID sound or with the ED sound. So we have accepted, attended, arrested, collected, contacted, counted, decided. Right? Estos son los verbos en los que sí suena la ED. En los otros dos no suena la ED. Suena solo la D. Agreed. Allowed, killed, listened, pulled, realized, right? Y en estos que no suena ni la D ni el ID, sino que suena como una T, right? Locked, 
looked, missed, mixed. Totalmente ignoramos la E. Right? En este primero, totalmente, totalmente ignoramos la E. Right? So, guys, y esto es pura, 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 pura praxis, right? So, guys. Mm -mm -mm, this one. Here we go. Pero el simple past, así es. Super, super simple. We just have to add ed at the end of the verb. Si terminamos con consonante, entonces we add ed. Si termina con E, veamos esta regla aquí. Si termina con consonante, si H, solo agregamos ED. Si terminamos con vocal E, con E, solo agregamos la D, porque ya tenemos la E. Exercised. Uh, let's see what else. Here we have more examples. Mm -mm -mm. Escaped, este es un ejemplo de esto. Aquí tenemos escaped, solo agregamos la D. Right? Hoped, joked, todos son ejemplos de que te, si termina en E, solo agregamos la D. Right? Si termina en consonante, entonces agregamos ED. Si termina en Y, then we have those two options. We have we add I E D or we add just E D. Si hay vocal antes o si no hay o si hay consonante antes, pero como les digo, esto no siempre es que se vaya a cumplir. Y si terminamos con P or with S, usualmente vamos a agregar otra más. For example, planned, si termina con P, vamos a poner esta aquí, esta word. Si termina con P, N, or S, usualmente vamos a agregar otra. For example, Plan. We're going to say plant, right? Agregamos otra n. Let's see what else. Also, uh, veamos qué otros tenemos por aquí. Pero esto, igual que con lo de la, re la regla de la y, no es que siempre se vaya a cumplir, right? Siempre habrán excepciones. Pressed. Este ya lleva las dos S. Ya una tercera si sí, ya no la vamos a agregar, right? Let's see what else. Como por ejemplo esta. Guess ya lleva las dos S, solo le vamos a agregar ID porque ya, ID porque ya lleva las dos S. Right? Let's see what else. ¿Qué otra palabra? Terminamos con N. Mm -mm -mm. What else? What else, guys? ¿Cuál pueden ver que termine en S, N, or P? Mm -hmm. Clean it. Ah, ok, vaya. Aquí tenemos una excepción. Clean. No vamos a agregar otra N. Se mantiene en clean. Esa sería una exception. Por eso no, es como los que les digo. No nos quedemos siempre con que, ah, así va a ser siempre, porque puede que siempre haya ex excepciones, right? A la regla. Pero digamos que esto va a ser lo usual. Plan, planned. Agregamos la otra. Press, press. Les voy a mandar más ejemplos de esos para que los tengan ustedes. Y con el resto de las consonantes, si sí, solo agregamos ed. Right?
And that is all about the simple past with regular verbs. Con los regular verbs, this is mostly it, guys. El, el subject, I, you, he, she, was, they, we. El verb in the past. Y el complement on whatever you want to say. For example, I worked today. Lo podemos hacer más largo o super corto. I worked today from 8 p.m. till 5 p.m. From 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Pero el punto es que lo usemos así. Subject plus the verb in the past and the complement. Todo lo demás que queramos decir. Or, si es negativo, subject plus didn't plus the verb in infinitive plus the complement, right? Y tenemos que practicar a lot la lectura y la practice para poder tener en práctica y tener bien claros cuáles van a ser los verbos que vamos a, pronunci uh, que vamos a pronunciar with a T, with a D, and with an ID, right? Any questions, guys, hasta ahorita? Yes, no. Is it clear? Is that no. clear past? Perfect. Anyone else? Any questions about the past? The simple past is bastante, es bastante simple, right? Se comprende, guys? Yes. 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 Awesome. Great. That's good. Perfect. All right. In that case, we're going to go ahead and do an exercise. Let's see. Here we have some words. And we have the three different pronunciations. The T pronunciation, the D pronunciation, and the ID pronunciation. Right? Recordemos, the T, T pronunciation is, is asked. Como una T, asked, locked, looked. We have the D pronunciation, agreed, allowed, answered, right? And we have the ID pronunciation, accepted, needed, planted, printed, pretended, right? Perfect. So, what we're going to do, vamos a hacer un exercise. Ahorita que tenemos bastante tiempo porque el simple past es sencillo, pero quiero que comprendamos bien esto before we move on to irregular verbs, right? So, vamos a hacer break of rooms, guys. Y vamos a hacer two things. Vamos a hacer dos cosas. We're going to do, se los voy a poner aquí, We're going to be doing two exercises. Exercise number one. En lo que yo llevo a sus break up rooms, vamos a estar haciendo, let's see. Vamos a estar haciendo seven examples using the past. One for each pronoun. Vamos a hacer siete ejemplos usando el pasado, uno por cada pronoun, right? I, he, she, they, we, it, um, you. <laughs> y cuando yo llegue a sus breakup rooms, vamos a hacer este exercise de pronunciation para que vayamos ubicando the different, uh, the T, the D, and the ID pronunciation, right? Pronunciation. Esos son los dos eh, exercises que vamos a estar haciendo. So, mientras yo no llegue, vamos a estar haciendo the sentences, one for each pronoun. Y cuando yo ya llegue, vamos a hacer el exercise of pronunciation. Yes? ¿Les parece? Yes? No? Ok. Ok. All right. All right. So let's see. 
let's go ahead and make the breakup rooms. We are 15 people, as you can also set five groups. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. All right, looks good. Very well. Let's go ahead and click on join breakup room. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Let's go ahead and click on join breakup room, guys. Perfect. All right, Catherine, Christian, let's go ahead and click on join breakable. Perfect.
Hello, guys. How are you doing? How are you doing with the sentences, guys, with the examples? Hello, teacher. Hello, William. How are you? Hi. Tenemos una. Le voy a decir una de las mías. No sé si está buena. Okay. Um, I dance. I I dance in the park. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you ask it in the class? Perfect. Excellent. Yes, those are all good sentences, William. Thank you so much for sharing. What about the rest? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi Benny. I went in the supermarket yesterday. I went to the supermarket. Yes, I almost a city to the supermarket. Uh, perdón. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Ah, que fuimos okay. al super, right? I went to the supermarket. Perfect. Ah, excellent. No problem. Excellent example. What about you, Christian? I walked in the park with my mom. I walked in the park with my mom. Excellent. I walked. Let's remember. Vamos a practice un poquito de las pronunciations that pass. Now we have these words, guys. Y ustedes me van a decir cuál creen ustedes que es la correct pronunciation. Yo se los voy a decir. Y ustedes me van a decir si es un T sound, D sound, o ID sound. Okay? All right. Entonces, la primera palabra es started. Sería T, D. OID. What is the word? Started. Number Start. one. Started. Is D. Okay. Perfect. Después lo vamos a check. No, D. 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 Correct. Okay. Next word is moved. D. También. Okay. D. Next word is stopped. ID. Okay. ID. Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Next word is acted. ID. Okay. Next word is asked. ID. T. T or ID? T. T. Okay. Next word is smoked. ID. Okay. Next word is waited. ID. Okay, next word is helped. D. D or T? D. Okay, next word is played. D. ID. 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 D. Or T? D, 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 only D. Okay, D. And what about arrived? D, D. Okay. So these are your answers. Se las voy a decir una vez más. A ver si quieren cambiar alguna. Okay? Okay. Words are started, moved, stopped, acted, asked, smoked, waited, Helped, played, and arrived. ¿Quieren cambiar alguna? No? No. Okay, let's check. Veamos qué tal están sus respuestas. Let's check. Here we go. Very good. We have just one, two, three, four mistakes. 
Let's see. Let's see why, okay? Veamos the first one. Let's see, we have started. Escuchemos. Started. 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 Sí puedo escuchar la E. So, cuando sí puedo escuchar la E, siempre va a ser ID, right? Started. Right? Started. Okay. Perfect. Veamos un ejemplo en que solo es D. Escuchemos moved. Moved. No escuchamos moved, right? Sino moved. Started. Aquí sí puedo escuchar la ed. Started. Por eso sería ID. Veamos. Stopped. Stopped. Nuevamente. No escuchamos la E. Por lo tanto, no puede ser ID. Y la D se oye como una T. Stopped. Stopped. Right? So that is why. Por eso es T sound. Now. Let's see the next one. Lo mismo con smoked. Smoked. No puede ser ID porque no escuchamos la I. Y la D suena como una T. So that is smoked. Finally, lo mismo con helped. Escucha, en este caso, estábamos más cerca porque escogimos D. Very good. Pero el sonido es un poco más fuerte. So that is helped. Helped. Si no, sería helped. 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 Como por ejemplo en played. Arrived. Played. Right? Moved. Pero es helped. Yes? Yes. Excellent, guys. All right. So go ahead and continue working in sus sentences and we'll be back. Okay? okay. Thank you so much. Hello. How are you? Hello, Alejandra. How are you, Rita? It's fine. Excellent. How are you doing with your sentences, guys? It's finished. Finish. Awesome, love to hear that. All right, so what we are going to do right now is que vamos a hacer un, uh, un check de la pronunciation, right? Aquí tenemos diferentes words. Yo se las voy a decir y ustedes me van a decir si la pronunciation es T, es a D, o es ID. Right? Recordemos que tenemos esas tres pronunciations. T sound, as in asked. D sound, as in allowed. And ID sound, as in accepted. Okay? So, se les voy a ir diciendo una por una y ustedes van a decir si es T, es D, o es ID. Okay? So, the first one would be stopped. Stopped. Is T? 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 All right. The next one is listened. Listen. D? D. Okay. Next one is worked. T? Okay. The next one is looked. T. 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 Okay. Next one is answered. Answered. D. 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 Okay, perfect. Next one is played. E. D. Okay. AD. Next one is weighted. D. D. Okay. Next one is helped. D. 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 Okay. Next one is liked. D. Okay, and finally, cooked. 
see. Okay. Se les voy a decir una vez más todas y ustedes me dicen si quieren hacer any changes. Okay. The words are stopped, listened, worked, looked, answered, played, waited, helped, liked, cooked. Do you want to change any, any word? No. No. Perfect. No. Let's check. Awesome. So we just have two mistakes, guys. Very good job. This is an amazing job. Very good. So, veamos por qué estas no son las que escogimos. So let's see. Por qué no es, por qué no es ID played? Played. Played. Porque no podemos escuchar la I. No podemos escuchar el e sound. For example, en este sonido es al revés. Es waited, waited, waited. Sí podemos escuchar la e. So that is waited, waited. Otro ejemplo de ID podría ser planted, counted, decided, demanded, included. Escuchamos. La E y la D, right? ED. Y en cambio en played, 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 ese I que escuchamos es de la Y. That is for the Y. Play, play, as in play. Played, right? Y obviamos la E. Esa es la razón. But you, are, you guys are doing amazing. Estoy súper impresionada que a la primera agarraron super casi todas. So you guys, you guys are doing very good. Excellent. Alejandra. Yes. O sea que la I y la D en, en, al pronunciarlo suena ED. No. Uh, miremos todas estas palabras. Todas llevan ED. Ajá. Pero cuando, oh. cuando se pronuncia como ID, suena a ED. No sé si me comprendo. Ah, perdón. Digamos, es que esta, 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 esta no, esta no, esta no, no es una. Kill. Esta no es una ID. Esto es como un sonido fonético. No es que sea que suene ID. Ah. Ajá, no, no es. Esta no es una I, sino que estos son unos símbolos de cómo suena. Ah. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ok, thanks. Ya, yeah, no problem. Yes. Y aquí podemos ver otros ejemplos, right? Provided, rented, repeated, reported, respected. Rested, scolded, skated, right? Si suena como una ED, right? ED. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. And you guys finished your sentences? Yes. Awesome, guys. Can you give me one example? He worked at McDonald's for two years. Excellent. Entonces, por ejemplo, para work, vamos a decir worked. Worked. Perfect. Yes, worked. He worked at McDonald's for two years. Perfect, Rita. What about uh, Sergio? Um, I stayed in my home this weekend. Yes, that's very good. I started in my home this weekend. Perfect. And what about Jennifer? She cooked turkey in the Thanksgiving day. Excellent. So that, igual que para worked, vamos a decir cooked. Very good. So cooked turkey in Thanksgiving day. Very good, guys. Excellent. Thank you for sharing, guys. All right. So ya solo tenemos four minutes left. Thank you for participating. Thank you for doing your sentences. And vamos a resolver any further doubts tomorrow. Ya que ustedes ya me dieron esta información, ya está su evaluation. So, if you want to, you can stay hasta los últimos minutos practicing. O se pueden retirar ya. However you choose. In any case, thank you guys for joining. Okay? Thanks. Okay. 
Excellent, guys. See you tomorrow, okay? See you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, no, se es así. No. <laughs> Ay, no puede ser. No. Oh, no. Why? Sorry, teacher. Why? I need some help. <laughs> it's broken. No. <laughs> Estamos, usted, necesitamos ideas. Sorry. Usted nunca ha llegado. Oh, no, that's, oh. But we had you have a button here that says, ask for help, but that's okay. No problem, guys. Sorry, teacher. That's okay. But aquí estoy viendo sus sentences. Let's say, all right. Mm -mm. Played soccer last week and I called for my house. She plays between the scenes. We watched the movie today. We ate vegetables in the restaurant. You bought a jacket. And, all right. So let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Can I? Let's see if I can. Mm, no, I can't. Okay. Pero solo veamos la primera sentence, guys. El verb run. Is regular or irregular? Mm, regular. Nope. Irregular. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> sí, el verbo run sí, es un verbo irregular. So that would be I run. Y recordemos que para los días siempre usamos on. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday. So I run on Saturday. R A M. Okay. Perfect. I played soccer last weekend. Very good. I called for my house. Llamé a mi casa. I called my house. Single four. I called my house. She bathed. Uh, she bathed in the sea. Perfect. He watched a movie today. Very good. Mm -mm -mm. They danced last night. Excellent. Cabal solo el spelling. G H T. Let. Uh, G H T. Perfect. <laughs> no problem. All right, guys. Oh, it is 9 p.m. Okay, excellent work, guys. Vamos a regresar ahorita al main room, okay? Okay. 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 Oh, sorry, mute. Hello, guys. So... We run out of time, guys. It is 9 p.m. I don't want to steal any time from you. If, uh, did you finish your sentences? Todos pudieron terminar sus sentences? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Excellent. Yes. So we run out of time. Así que lo que sí vamos a hacer es share them tomorrow. Y vamos a seguir practicing las pronunciations de E, D, D, and T. Tomorrow. Así como también vamos a ver eh, los, el past con irregular verbs. Pero ahorita ya se nos fue el tiempo. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys, and we'll continue with that, okay? Okay. okay. Excellent, guys. So good night, guys. Thank you for joining today. Good night. Good night.